Hello everyone, today we're going to look at payroll deductions. There are a bunch of different types of deductions, we're going to cover the most common ones. So the first is Social Security. Social Security is 6.2% of the first $87,900 in earnings. For simplicity's sakes, we're going to assume that no one has reached those earnings yet when we find their Social Security deduction. This is just a basic percent equation. What is 6.2% of whatever their earnings is? Medicare is 1.45% of all earnings. So this is also another basic percent equation. So we'll do an example. Mary has a gross salary of $1,400. How much is taken out for Social Security and for Medicare? So for Social Security, the question is, what is 6.2% of 1400 The basic percent equation tells us that we're looking for 0.062 times 1400 right, 6.2%, divide that by 100, 0.062 of means multiplication. So again, 0.062 times 1400 That gives us $96.80. Remember that the answers here are money. So make sure you have two decimal places. If it's more than two decimal places, make sure you round. If it's less, make sure you add in the additional zero that you need. So you, you wouldn't write it as 96.8. It's 96.80 because it's money. For Medicare, it's 1.45% of 1,400. So it's 0 0.0145 times 1,400. This is a very small amount. The biggest mistake I'll see people do is they'll do 14.5% instead. Right, so 1.45%, that's 0 0.0145. And then again, we're going to multiply it by 1,400. And that gives us $20.30. The next main um, withholding is federal tax. So we're going to need a table to figure this out. It's not a basic percent problem. It depends on several factors. So whether the employee is single or married is going to determine part of their federal tax and also how often they're paid. So whether they're paid weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, semi-weekly, um, things like that. We're going to focus on just single and married and paid weekly. So we're going to um, only have two tables to look at. We're assuming everyone's being paid on the weekly basis. And then within these tables, we have rows and columns. So the column is going to show how many allowances the person is claiming. So you can have as many allowances as you have dependents. So if you talk about, you know, your taxes um, come April, when you have to declare your taxes, you'd say how many dependents you have. You can have up to the number of allowances as that. And then the row of the column is how much you're making in that weekly period. So find the amount of federal income tax withheld for a single person with three allowances paid $11.85 weekly. So we're going to make sure that we're looking at the correct table. So this is single persons and again weekly. So both of the tables that we have will be weekly. So we have to make sure that we're looking at single versus married. So then the three allowances, let me choose a different color here, is here. So be careful when you're counting over columns, it starts at zero. So zero, one, two, three. So three allowances, I'm in the fourth column. And then we look at how much they're making. So the making is over here, the wages are, and it's a, it's a range. So it's at least 1,150, but less than 1,160, and then at least 1,160, but less than 1,170, and so forth. So we need to figure out where 1,185 is in this range. So 1,185 is right here. It's at least 1,180, but less than 1,190. So we take into consideration the row, the column, and we get an answer of, going across, $146. Okay, so this person would have $146 taken out as their federal income tax. 
find the amount of federal income tax withheld for a married person with two allowances paid thirteen forty weekly. Okay, so we're going to look at our table, and we're going to check that we're looking at married, and then two allowances. So again, that's the third column starting with zero, and then eleven forty. So we have to be careful here because both of these rows involve the number thirteen forty. So we have to check, is it in the first row or is it in the second row? So the first row says at least 1330, but less than 1340. And 1340 is not less than 1340. So it's not that one. 1340 is at least 1340. Okay, so it does end up in this row here. So just be careful when it's on... Um, the edge of the range, it's always going to be in the second one, the one that's at least that amount. And we follow that along, and we're getting that the federal income tax withheld is $136. Okay. So just be careful and make sure you've got the right table, the right column, and the right um, row. Another tax that is usually taken out, but not always, is state tax. For most states, the state tax is a percentage of the federal tax, not a percentage of your gross wages, but of the federal tax. And that percentage depends on the state. So not every state has state tax, not every state has a percentage of the federal tax, and not every state has the same percentage. So it's really careful, you have to make sure you're reading the situation correctly. So for example, Sarah has a federal withholding tax of $230. If the state tax is 21% of the federal tax, how much state tax is taken out of Sarah's pay? This is a basic percent problem. It's 21% of the federal tax. So 21% of the federal tax is 230. So 21% of $230. And we're going to change that into math, so 0 0.21 times 230. That gives us $48.30. Okay, so and the biggest mistake I'll see here is that people will take a percentage of the earnings and not a percentage of the federal tax. Okay. As another example, Jack has a federal withholding tax of $410. If the state tax is 23% of the federal tax, find his state tax withholding. So again, it's a basic percent problem, 23% of the federal tax, 23% of $410. So 0.23 times 410 gives us $94.30. We have some other deductions that you'll see. Uh, there's retirement plans, there's health insurance, you can get life insurance deducted. Um, there are a whole bunch of different types you can have deducted. If you're in a union, you'll have union fees deducted. These other deductions can be a percentage of your pay, or it can be a certain set amount. Usually if you have union dues, it's a certain set amount every time. Um, retirement plan is usually a percentage, although it could be a certain set, a certain set amount. Um, depends on what options you have. As our last example, we'll kind of put it all together. So Martha makes $1,200 weekly, claiming single with one allowance. Find the following, assuming state tax is 20% of federal, and she has a retirement plan that is 2.5% of gross wages. So a table of things that we're going to find. So the first is Social Security. So remember that's 6.2% of the gross earnings, so 0 0.062 times 1,200. That's $74.40. Next is Medicare, that's 1.45%, so we're going to take 0 0.0145, multiply it by 1,200, and that gives us $17.40. Next is Federal, and we need a table for that. So going back to our table, we have single person weekly, there is one allowance, and they are making $1,200. So again, we have 1,200 two different places, but 1,200 is not less than 1,200. 1,200 is at least 1,200. So we want to make sure, again, we're using that second column that has the 1,200. So if we find that intersection, that's $190. So that goes in there. Next is state. 
that is 20% of the federal. So that's 0.2 times the 190. So that gives us $38. Retirement is 2.5% of the gross wages. So that's another basic percent problem. 2.5% is 0 0.025. Gross wages is 1,200. So that gives us 30 bucks. Total deduction is the sum of all of the individual deductions. So we're going to add all of those up. And that gives us $349.80. And then net wages due. How much is she actually getting a check for? To find that, we're going to take the original wage, the 1200 and subtract all of the deductions. So Martha is getting a check for $850.20, assuming there aren't any other deductions there. Okay, so a lot of these are just the basic percent problem. The federal, we need a table for. And then, be careful, the state could be a bunch of different ways. You might not even have state tax. It depends on the state that you're in. So look through the book, try out the homework, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.